We're up to issue 170. It's the Tsunsaka. Tsunsaka. Yeah, it's the arena ship. 170. Hooray! Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek, the official Starships collection, model and magazine review from Eagle Moss. This time is episode 170. It's the, and this will be the last time I'll pronounce this, is it the Tsunkatsi Arena Ship? Basically this was, a, I think it was a Series 6 um, Voyager episode which starred Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This was when he was, yeah, Dwayne, the, Dwayne Johnson is very famous now for doing some action films, the Fast and the Furious, the Jumanji, the new Jumanji films. I saw the second one not long since, absolutely brilliant. But he was famous for the wrestling, for the WWE, WF, whatever they want to call it by then, but not famous for anything else. But it was a major kind of, they abducted Seven of Nine to go on this... Yeah, because I think they had to knew that she was a Borg and they wanted her to fight other people, but this was like a transmitter to, to in the Delta Quadrant to show other people in the Delta Quadrant big fights and whatever else. So obviously Dwayne was this big fighting champion and they kidnapped Seven or Nine to, to fight against him. But let's get into the magazine at the moment. Mag uh, model at one side for the second. So lights out, zoom you in a little bit so we can have a look at the model. Model magazine. Hello. You thought I'd do this while I'm drunk. Hello. Right. So it's an arena ship. So obviously everything was done inside the arena. Pilots, station, transmitters on the side, which is very strange. Actually, having a very delicate dish. And I'd like to see what Eagle Moss have done with that. Cause it looks so fine. But they'll do just a a solid dish and put lines on it, or whether they actually will do a line on it. We'll have a look in a few minutes. But this would be transmitted across the Delta Quadrant to paying viewers, pay-per-view fighting, that's all it is. But it was quite a fun little episode where you've got Seven of Nine fighting for a life or fighting for a new career, I don't know. Well, you would know if you watched it, so yeah. <laughs> so the um, arena ship is a, it's going to be referred to from now on as I cannot pronounce it very well. Um, right, so in Operation 2367, Covariant shielding, okay, fine, and neutronic energy beams for the weaponry. 710.7 meters long, that's a little bit specific. So 710 and a little bit. Mm, okay. I mean, it's a very interesting looking ship. You've got your standard. Ooh, hold on a minute. To look at the ships, and, and I love the ships. No matter what, I love the design of the ships. These look like, the yellow parts look like phaser banks on the side of a runabout. These triangle bits, I'm thinking possibly Delta Flyer. I know it's the same design, the, the, the same universe, the same whatever, and, and people have been involved in it from the beginning, and, and you, it's good evolu evolution on things. But you've even got on the back of here, that looks very much like the Marquee Raider. The wings on the back. It's nice to do this, it's, it's kind of like kit bashing. But it's, this is retrospective kit bashing, to be honest. I mean, if I had a big box of, I've, I've thought about buying stuff on eBay, a lot of model parts, and, and if you've noticed on my channel, there are some model reviews of things I've done, but they're used being standard Enterprises or Voyager, Defiant. It's to actually do a proper, decent kit bash of a load of model parts. And then asked what about where something like, like the Millennium Falcon came around. It's kind of a, a circle bit with the mandibles at the front and then put all, all over all the, usually the flashing from when they've actually injected molded the, the actual parts and stuck them all over it to make it look like its own ship. And it's the good, good thought of actually doing stuff like that, that I would love to be able to do. And at the minute, I haven't bought a big box of broken model parts. Ah, that's like a, a newer phaser bank. But they'll use that for a thruster, which is great, which is fine. You can do these sort of things. Voyager being attacked, and Jeffrey Combs playing yet another part. 
Jeffrey Combs is all over Star Trek. He is like a rash. He, apart from the original series, and I'm not sure if he was in Next Generation. He's been in definitely DS9 and Voyager and Enterprise. I'm not sure he's been in Discovery or Picard. I don't think I've seen him in Picard yet. But I don't know whether he was in Next Generation or not. It'd be nice to, to, to know that he was. Okay, right. Neutronic energy emitter on the back of here. Looks like I'd say I would have said that would be a bridge, but no, main bridge over here. Neutronic energy emitters as well. So it, it just basically there's a lot of weaponry on board. Warp exhaust. That's what those big parts on the back where they look like newer phaser banks, but they're not. It's a very interesting ship. But obviously it would be an arena, they'd fight inside the arena and then they'd transmit this outwards to anybody who was watching, willing to pay for the privilege of watching two people fight each other. Which we do that nowadays anyway, so why not do it in the 24th century? So the rest of this, have a look at it. Like, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, usual. But... I do love the, the, the design part of these and the the actual concept. I mean, this could have been anything. It could have been something inside here, centre part. There's obviously something going on here. Either it's a, a big ship and this will have been the arena in the middle or it's a smaller ship and these are like a shuttlecraft. But, yeah, Sternbach did quite a few little designs on what they need to do and then amalgamated quite a lot of things into the arena ship. Very nice. Very, very good indeed. And there he is. There's the rock. Not really the rock nowadays, but it's kind of got that, that weird pose that he does. This is trademark pose. It's fine. We are, we're all used to him by now. He's, he's quite funny. It's kind of, with my generation, it was kind of the, the Stallone and the, the Schwarzenegger. Nowadays, it's, it's, yeah, big, muscly bloke. And he's quite funny, to be honest. I do like a lot of his films. He is quite weird. I'm not sure Tooth Fairy was a very good film, but to see him in that role did play quite well, I suppose. Jerry Ryan there, having an off-camera off moment there with him. But yeah, there's a lot of recurring characters. He actually played... Guy down here, if you can see him. He actually played Data's grandfather in the Next Generation series. He's a big actor. I think he's actually died not long since. I'm not sure... He, what his name is, but pitched by Bill Pardy. Pra Pra no, that's not him. But they would have a recur recurrence of a lot of actors in the Star Trek universe playing different characters, which is quite nice. And some more oddball moments for Seven of Nine there. Trying to become human. It does look, it, it, actually, you'd look at this section here, it looks like you've got this, this, like a station, and this section here would dock onto it. So whether or not, I'm not sure if they did that in the series, the episode, I don't, I don't think they did. But it does look very much like that would be some extra ship on there. So 171 coming soon, on the back of the magazine. So we're not really interested in the magazine anyway, so let's get the lights back up and have a look at the model because that's what I'm here for. Right. Oh, okay. Nice model to start with. Nice scale. Number 6436A slash A. Pink's Starship. Yeah, because that wasn't that the guy? No, it was the... Sh oh, yeah, it was the guy who actually owned the Starship. The arena ship. He was called Pink. Alright, okay. So let's have a look at the Usual mounting points probably behind. Yeah, I don't like using the mounts anyway. You know that if you've watched this more often. So, okay, let's have a look at what we got. So a big, massive centre section here. A star drive section on the back and then a brig section. Could you possibly maybe take this off and put it onto there? Make one starship and ignore the centre? You've got a cold section on the top here, so this is obviously metal all over the top anyway. Deflector dishes, right, so this is what they're doing with the deflector dishes. Is they've, um, 
left it out of focus there you go it's a solid piece you couldn't do the mesh what they wanted to I'm sure they couldn't looks kind of goodish the inside's got a good mesh the outside absolutely diabolical but what can you do you've got small parts that would break very easily so you couldn't do anything that it's like a mesh it would be so fine be finer than a than a than a spider's web to do that so let me get you a little closer let's get some detail work on this so from the front that's the front no that's the front let's go have a look at what you've got it's lovely blue metallic hmm It looks like parts of other ships just made a lot bigger. Let me look underneath and fly back again. If we can get that focus, there we go. I, mean, I quite like the detail on this. It's a lovely colour. I'll give you some more in a second. See the banks there look like they've... Uh, they look good paint dabs to be honest, Eagle Moss. And there's a bad seam line there, look, look, look at that massive gap in the middle there. I mean, to be honest, me looking that, it's... It's not that big. But it just looked that big. Hmm. Oh well, let's brush past that a minute. That's the arena in the middle. Whether they would obviously all, all fight and then transmit out to who was watching via the dishes. It does look like these corner bits here do look like the Delta Flyers corners, the weapons pods. It's a big comparison with the, the colours between the top and the bottom. I don't know whether that's intentional or not. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look as deep as what it does in the pictures. The impulse, the warp vents or whatever it is. A bit of flash in there in the centre. Yeah, the quality has definitely gone down with this one. Ah, you've got the vents there. That's definitely a revamp of the Marquee Raider. Definitely. Added parts inside it. Hmm. Which is fine, it's part of that generation. Possibly even possibly even an aero wing. Aero shuttle for the Voyager. Hmm. We've had that one already. But yeah. Maybe the aero shuttle instead. It's a shame they never did anything with the aero shuttle. Because it was a lovely design. It was always there on show when the ship flew past. It was like a little, somebody going, hooray, arms up in the air. But it did look a really good design, and they never did anything with it. And then lately, they've come out with test footage of it being launched, which was really nice to see now, but would have been really good to see as part of the actual Voyager series. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. The two-tone, different effects. You look at it at certain levels, I think... If I can, if, if the camera is showing exactly what I'm seeing now, the centre part looks silver, a little bit, whatever, but then you got there, you got it, the blues come into play. Different angles shows different colours. That's really nice, that's really good. I can see that on my own eyes as well as the camera, but whether or not it shows up on camera or not, I don't know. It'd be nice if it did. No, really good. So let's zoom you back out of there. I mean, size-wise, palm of the hand, standard Eagle Moss size. Not the full length, probably nearly the full width, but yes. So it seems a bit odd that the bottom side is a lot darker than the top. Like I said, the top part is the metal, bottom part is the plastic. Hmm. Quite nice. I do quite like that. Hmm. I don't, actually, looking at the magazine, these weren't straight across from each other. One was there, there, I think there, and maybe back here or round here. Let me just get the, mo the magazine back. There, there. Yeah, it's coming out of that corner there. 
So yeah, it is. But it is an interesting ship. It is a ship. And Voyager had a lot of new starships that were, because we were always in the Delta Quadrant anyway, that you never saw over here in the Alpha Quadrant. But yeah, that's quite a nice ship, that. So yeah, quite good. Quite like that one. 170. Who would have thought this when we first started? 170. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow me on social media. Consider being a Patreon. And I'll see you, see you all in another video. Bye for now.